um, my last Riot Girl Live. And I thought I'd talk to you guys before I go audit tomorrow. So what's up? I didn't plan this. Whenever I plan it, something happens and I end up not being able to do it. So I thought I'd just reach out. And you want to reach out. Find out whoever gave you the idea that that much tan cream was a good idea. And then you should probably reach your arms out and put your hands around their neck. Hey guys, Wrangler here, and we've been covering Honey Boo Boo since her first arrest, and it looks like through her demonetization. And we will take a quick few minutes, and we will go over the rise and fall of whatever name she's going by this week. So you can schedule a time to come do some recording? No. While we're operating, we ask people not to record to protect people's privacy as you may. Right. I'm not after anyone's personal information. Okay. Um, well, we're going to ask you to, to not record while you're here. So right. if you did that, it would be violating my rights. I'm just asking you to. Okay. That's, that's fine. You happen to have... I don't... I'm not talking to you. What? I'm not talking to you. Walk away. Why? Because I'm not... I'm not the only one. You want everybody now. Get out so we can... No, nah, they're refusing service, which is okay. illegal. All right. So you they're not allowed it. to do that. This is Pennsylvania State. We took off the work, to off of work today for, for this I mean, reason. So you're you you can't Don't get upset with me. He closed business, ma'am. He's closed. <laughs> the police are on that, but this is a constitutionally protected activity, sir. And you have a thing right on here about how you're not supposed to discriminate against people. And then there's also Title 18 USC Section 242 about the deprivation of rights under color of law. So how do you guys feel about so this? Here's the deal. Okay. Here's the deal. <laughs> oh, can I get your name and badge numbers? It's right here. Um, Remmel? Yep. And uh, what's your badge, sir? Can I, don't... I talk? Okay, they're asking Can you I please have your name and badge number, sir? It's Aren't right you here. supposed to identify yep. when Top asked by the... Badge number 81. Thank you. Can I have your badge number? I'm an independent journalist. Here. I'm gathering content for a story. You want everybody now. Get out so we can... No, they're refusing service, which is okay. illegal. All right. So you they're not allowed it. to do that. This is Pennsylvania State. State. We took off work today, but for this reason, so now you're the interrupting our son. You can't Don't get upset with me. He closed business, ma'am. He's closed... <laughs> the police are coming. I can't leave. <laughs> Why are they coming? Because, because they've you? been called, yes. Because of you. Correct. You know. Hello. How are you? How are you? Not much. I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. It's a constitutionally protected activity. And they've shut down the refusing service because I'm in there with a camera. I'm not just, service to you? no, refusing service to everyone. Oh. <laughs> We're still not allowed to do, it's illegal. So, yeah, yeah okay. that's where we are. So did they tell you that they wanted you to leave? He said that he wanted me to turn my camera off and I said, I'm not going to, it's a constitutionally protected activity. I'm in public, I'm not yeah. doing anything wrong. Yeah. I'm being quiet, yeah. I'm not being mean to anyone. I'm Right, so my thing. Go talk with them first, and then we'll be back with you, okay? Am I being detained? No, no you're good right now. Okay. Are you leaving? No, I came out because you guys were here. Okay. Well, <laughs> let us go talk with them and, and uh, see what see what their their side. Yeah, of the you can talk is. with them. Okay. Yeah. So you know. There's no law or statute attached to this, so it's an unlawful sign. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll take care of it. How are they going to take care of it? <laughs> are they going to take care of it by arresting me? <laughs> are they going to take care of it? I don't know. Do they know the law? Well, they're like muscles, right? They're like ab muscles. If you don't exercise them, they disappear. I dare you to touch me. I'm knocking the fuck out. <laughs> Damn! Damn! I'm glad I got that on camera because I'll tell the police when they come out. Come on, Jesse. Nobody likes a snitch. Here to educate. 
but if you violate my rights, I will litigate. Thanks, Craig, for that. <laughs> CH and Ty audits. He's one of the best. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. To the best of my knowledge, Craig is, what's he the best at? Smoking weed? Choking his wife? I mean, what exactly is he the best at, Jesse? Other customers. So here's what can happen. They have asked you several times to leave, now in our presence, okay? Okay. If you're refusing to leave, you can be arrested for trespassing. Right. Okay. So all they're doing is asking you to leave the property mm -hmm. so they can go about their business. I just need to get this on film. Can I have your name, sir, too, okay. please? Yeah, can you please tell me? I can't no, see. No, it's okay. Freddie, come on. Okay. I just want to make sure because this is totally illegal and legal. you guys aren't doing what's right either. Okay. So they've asked you to leave. We'll I mean, you. under threat of arrest, of course I'll leave, okay. but you guys are doing something wrong. We're not doing anything wrong. So they've asked you to leave. We're asking you to leave. So you need to leave. And you're asking me under threat of arrest. If you don't leave, you will be arrested for trespassing. Yes. Okay. Understand. Yes, sir. I understand. So let's leave. Under threat of arrest, I believe. Okay. Where's White Hope? And that was just a little trip down memory lane to remind everybody of what we're dealing with. So I have brought some fun little show and tells for y'all. And this is what we went over last night. She apparently has been demonetized until the middle of February. And she, in this one, she didn't really give any reasons. So we'll go from there. And this is another one from earlier. She is looking for people to interview. I am planning episode number one, and I'd love to have Bunny XO. She's married to the country music artist Jelly Roll. It wouldn't be boring without a doubt. LOL. I swear to God, she's like 45 years old, and she writes like a 17-year-old girl. And here you might be thinking that a lot of us in the anti-frauding community hate Jessica Tychek. And, and it couldn't be any further from the truth. We've actually, all of us have tried to help her because the road she's going down only leads to one inevitability. It's the one she's slapped in the middle of right now, where she's facing a handful of charges, like literally the entire handful, every finger on it. And now she's doing even dumber shit. Ma'am, you're not allowed in here. So now you're I'm not allowed allowed no, in here. Not. No, you're not. In a public building no, you cannot that I help pay for. You cannot come in here video. You gotta pick the video down. That's not true, ma'am. Okay. I have the law right here. Okay, no video. It's against the law. It's not against the law. I have the no law video. right here. Take over here. I ha that has no law or statute attached. The Constitution okay. trumps all policies, ma'am. Um, so you need to leave, and if you don't, you're in place on arrest, okay? Okay, just so we're clear, mm -hmm. you are asking me to leave yes. the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. Okay, I'm, can you let me talk? This officer is asking me to leave the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation under threat of arrest, which is a violation of 18 U.S.C. 24, Section 242. Deprivation of rights under color of law. Then, <laughs> what other laws are you breaking, right? Yeah. Section 1988 of Title 42 of the United States Code provides for reimbursements of attorney fees when I sue you. Any officer or public official who to who deprives another right, of their so First Amendment please, rights please, is personally please, and please, departmentally please. subject and sued to, for civil oh, damages. Okay. I'm going to sue you. Do you understand yeah, that? You're going to go back in there, right? Did that's what you just said? What? You said you're about to go back in there? I was going to, but if you're yeah. making me leave under threat of arrest you can't go back in and you're going to violate my rights on camera, that's fine. That's all I need, I guess. I'll leave, but, I mean, you're still violating my rights and breaking the law, sir. Are you law enforcement? And why do you keep asking me if I drive here? Why do you want my car? 
Okay, so I took an I'm Uber here. You, you, you keep talking. Okay, so right now your conduct's being disorderly. So that's actually your arrest. Disorderly case. because I'm trying to have a conversation with you? I'm trying to tell you to leave. Okay, under threat of arrest. It's a violation of the crime. And what, uh, okay, you guys, Pennsylvania State Police, how, where do I go to like file complaints against you guys? You like where? Supervisor. I can bring it there right now. Oh, yeah. Could you please call a supervisor? Leave. I'd appreciate that. Could you please call a supervisor? Leave. 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 Yes or no. Can you call a supervisor at least, please? Will you give the phone to him? Will I what? Will you give the phone to him, please? Why? I will leave under threat of arrest, sir. Well, now you're under arrest for disorderly conduct, please. Sir, I've had enough of this. But this isn't the arrest that started her downfall. That arrest is actually, she took it down from her page. So, but this arrest that you just witnessed was the most recent one. And that is one of the most troubling things that I'm about to show you guys. And I want to say this before I show you the post she's put up. I in no way condone sexual assault in any way, shape, or fashion. I think that it's people like her that gives discredit and often skepticism when real victims report their actual crimes that they have been victims of because she's trying to get out of jail time because she doesn't want to come off of Suboxone and Benzos and weed. Now, this is another post she put up, and in this one, she's claiming that the troopers that arrested her, that they put her in ankle shackles, and they raped her. Now, none of this came out, nothing was said, nothing was hinted, intimated to, until she received notice that she was being charged with five charges. And then this started coming out. Now, if what, is, what she's saying has any lick of credibility, those troopers should have a crotch lobotomy, forced. But if it's not, she should be the respondent in a civil suit for defamation of character and slander. She should be hit with civil penalties, including punitive damages for her actions. Because if she is lying in order to just try to muddy the waters and piss on the impunity and credibility of the troopers, it's absolutely disgusting and it should not be overlooked by the judge. And this to me is just another example that she is a total space cadet and has absolutely no idea what she's doing, let alone what damn planet she's on. This is KFAR asking her in a, you know, in a, in a comment, who would have thought that recording yourself breaking the law would have consequences? And her response, breaking the law, question marks, and you're black? Please tell me you do not back the blue, dude. Okay, so what? Because you thought KFAR was African American, that he should what? Hate cops? I mean, that's absolutely disgusting. We've got enough problems in our country that are race related without garbage like this to where that is the most stereotypical, offensive, racist shit she probably could have said. Dude, and she wonders why she's going down in flames. And now back to the present where we see her describing why she got uh, demonetized or suspended for 90 days. And it starts with a comment by the angry vet, our favorite littlest wire, wire tapper. And man bun extraordinaire says something isn't set up right with 15,000 subs you should be earning even if it's only six dollars a month have you linked your bank account to the channel oh her response i'm not allowed to make a penny off my content for 90 days for posting a copywriter freaking freaking song i'm guessing that's copywritten freaking song of course it was rolling in at 400 a video which apparently she was getting off ad revenue and now zero 
I got to think. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Interesting. Well, you can't do that. You can't put copywritten music in your videos, period. And this is going to be her solution to being demonetized. Instead of going out and securing gainful employment, it's going to be, Hi, I'm opening up a store. I got a 90-day suspension for making money on YouTube. A warning first would have been nice, so I got to think fast. I'm going to sell my merch, stickers, t-shirts, and then clothes and jewelry, jewelry that I redesign and upcycle from thrift stores. I'm going to open an Etsy store. I hope you guys really wanted merch. I got to pay my bills and I do not want to work at Starbucks for Christmas. Well, here's my thing. What, what, what would be so wrong about working at Starbucks for Christmas? It's an honest tax paying job and you wouldn't have to worry about going to jail if you mess up somebody's latte. And wait, look at that. Hand making channel merchandise. I bet we've seen that before, haven't we? Haven't we somebody that wanted to take, you know, like thrift store t-shirts and make channel designs out of it? I bet she'll want PayPal too. Anyway, guys, uh, so she would rather keep e-skimming or grifting on YouTube than go get a real paying job. Very telling. There you go. Just so you know, there's no law or statute attached to this, so it's an unlawful sign. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll take care of it. And I'm still waiting around for a frauditor to ever show me where that's an actual law. And guys, I just thought I'd show y'all the very troubling things that are going on with Jessica Tychek and her channel, Rage Girl Radio, I think is the this week's name for it. And she really, really needs to take a deep, hard look inside herself and ask herself this question. Is this frauditing shit worth it for $20,000 a year? You're going to spend more than that in fines, penalties, and attorney's fees. And you can't have Chili do a fundraiser for you every week. Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one.